guy. Wait, is he blind? We messed up to rob a blind guy, isn't it? Just because he's blind don't mean he's insane, bro. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. This is going to be a review for the 2016 home invasion horror film, Don't Breathe. Don't Breathe was directed by Fede Alvarez, and it stars uh, Jane Levy, Dylan Minnett from uh, 13 Reasons Why, Daniel Zavato, who plays Money, and Stephen Lang, who plays the blind man. Jane Levy's character, uh, her name is Rocky. Jane Levy, if you're familiar with her, she's from the 2013 Evil Dead remake. Uh, Dylan Minnett, as I mentioned, is from 13 Reasons Why. He plays the main character in it. And Daniel Zavato, I'm not too familiar with any of his other work. I may have seen his other films, but this is the only film I can think of that he starred in. He plays Money. Uh, this movie essentially follows a group of, group of teens who are basically robbers. They go around and they rob a bunch of houses in the local area that have the alarm system by uh, Alex's father. Alex's father has an alarm system. If that's if I'm remembering correctly, they have an alarm system that his father is in charge of, and they only they only go into the houses and take from those houses that have that alarm system because Alex knows how to get around the system without them uh, getting in trouble with the authorities and such. All three of them essentially have a troubled past. We don't really find out too much about money, but Rocky, she has a troubled a troubled life as far as like at home. She has a bad home life and she's had a troubled past and her life's been hard ever since her father left when she was a, a young girl. Her mother doesn't, her mother abuse, abuses her in some way uh, or had abused her in some way. And now it's just like a lot abuse mixed with neglect and the fact that her mother seems like she's in her own state of depression and it's affecting herself as well as her little sister and her entire home life so rocky is kind of in a a mix a mixed situation she doesn't want anything to do with that life anymore and i guess this is why she turned to the the aspect of robbing because their ultimate goal is to collect enough things because what they're doing is money is the leader in a way i think he's the one connected to the source they hand off the uh the items that they steal they hand it off and in return they get a chunk from what the uh the dealer they're working for sells their ultimate goal is to collect money from this and then leave i believe this is in detroit they want to leave detroit and then move rocky mentioned she wants to move to california uh, this film does an amazing job of setting up and letting you get to know these characters because the movie is rather short. It's only an hour and like around an hour and 30 minutes. This movie does an amazing job of letting you at least get to know a few short things about these characters. While, while not all of it is said, there's an, enough detail around these characters that allow you to basically pick up what is going on and what might motivate these, uh, young criminals to do what they're doing because none none of them apparently have the best the best backstory as far as their childhood goes uh alex's character feels neglected doesn't who doesn't feel neglected i guess he feels a bit lonely because his father's never around uh but anyway they get they get news that uh a local army vet that's in an eight that's in a uh, neighborhood he's the only person remaining in this neighborhood he's sitting on like a settlement of around close to three hundred thousand. And what they plan to do is break in and they want to steal that money and in return get a chunk of it so that way their mindset is that if they steal this much they never have to steal or do do any of these criminal acts ever again because they'll be done and they'll, they'll be able to move on to Los Angeles move on to Detroit and leave LA um, or move on to Los Angeles and leave Detroit rather this film from a from like the cinematography and the acting and the way everything comes across on screen you genuinely have an interest in these characters none of them are like dislikable characters of course there's the character in money who doesn't really play too much of a factor in the film so he's kind of like a throwaway character uh the performance Stephen lane gives in this film as the blind man is absolutely amazing uh it's very believable uh jane levy and dylan minnett they are the two stars of the film because uh, I'm going to just get into a few spoilers here. They are the two stars of the film. They shine the most when they are left alone in the house with the blind man because what happens is these people think that it's just going to be a breeze, but then they come to find out that this army vet is blind. So they did not know he was blind initially. So when they find out he's blind, they think it's just going to be an easy walk in the cake 
type of deal but they're easily they come to find that they were heavily mistaken because the blind man fights back he takes them all out one by one uh there's a lot of stuff we find out involving the blind man and this settlement that he's sitting on and a whole bunch of backstory comes out about him i will get into the fact that not a lot of the film makes sense again it is about a blind man running around doing a lot of the uh damage in the film and i what i will also say is one of my gripes with it this movie does not have like a central a clear-cut villain or antagonist everyone here in a way is an antagonist uh there's no real there's no heroes here everyone's doing something wrong here and that's where it kind of levels out at the end of the film because neither one neither one can tell on the other we come to find out that the blind man is actually holding on to a lot of other things that uh are not as like you would think that you would feel sorry for the blind man to an extent but then you find out something along the way in the film that completely turns that all around and then you come to find out that everyone in this situation is pretty much kind of in the wrong boat no one here is good everyone's everyone's pretty much a villain in a way in this film there's no real hero here uh but like the score the soundtrack the lighting when they get in the house i think that is amazing jane levy she does an amazing job as rocky uh again Stephen lang's portrayal as the blind man is amazing i just can't speak enough of how like when i saw this movie in theaters it kind of it wasn't like a blew me away type of film but it was just so well shot the acting was solid the cinematography was solid the visual effects were amazing uh small reference to cujo a bit that's just my opinion a small reference to cujo if you've seen the film you know what i'm talking about uh the nature of the kills some of the kills while there's not there's not too many kills in the film but and they're not really unique that's another thing i have about the film but when some of the kills come on screen they're just very brutal there's one character in particular uh it's at the very beginning of the film right when they get into the home you know what i'm talking about i just thought that kill was brutal and relentless and i actually i absolutely love that death uh, but yeah the film is amazing I think this is probably one of the better home invasion movies that came out in recent memory. In if like I had to rate it on a scale of one to ten, I always lean to like a six and a half, but I'm gonna go ahead and say I give it a seven out of ten because there are a few loose ends that I will get into in the future in like a spoiler review that I do. Uh, I'm trying to keep this as spoiler free as possible, but this is an amazing film if i were to say if i if i were to recommend this to someone i would say definitely go watch this movie before anything else that came out in 2016. uh i give don't breathe a 7 out of 10. i think everyone involved did an amazing job as far as their performances are concerned uh the directing is good the score is amazing some of the shots and the direct some of the shots and the visual the visual effects that we see they are done very well I give the movie a seven out of ten. If you guys have seen don't if you guys have seen don't breathe, let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. Also in the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can mes message me there to let me know what movies you would like me to review in the future. Uh, stay stay tuned, guys, because I will be back before the end of the week with another movie review.